All right, man, let's talk about the Lions. Uh, got some joint practices coming up with the New York Giants and why it's important. Um, a lot of times these joint practices throughout history have been a huge indication of how uh, the Lions are going to do moving forward, at least early in the season, right? Um, we've seen it before. The coach practice last year. Remember that Patriot practice where they baptized in the preseason, they baptized rookie Jerry Davis. So they, these joint practices have been a really good indication of how the Detroit Lions are, you know, where, where they at. No matter how, you know, big or small or how great the challenge is. And, um, you know, they, they are a great indication of, of where they at. Great gauge. So it says Detroit Lions Giants joint practice five matchups to watch before preseason. And – you know, we're going to see how they're going to do. Her Jerry Goff been a little bit sketchy, throwing some picks in training camp. Her James Williams out again. So they've been, they're going to be up and down. We know that. We know that. It's training camp, people trying to get their body in football condition. So you're going to have good days, bad days. I mean, your energy going to be up and down. There's no, there's no supplement for football condition. You can run routes. You can you, you can do seven on sevens, but it's nothing like putting them pads on. But Detroit Lions, this thing is probably by Dave Perquet. Yep. Detroit Lions host the New York Giants for joint practice Tuesdays and Wednesday in their preseason opener Friday. Lions coach uh, Dan Campbell's facing a new opponent two weeks in training camp will be good for the squad. It's a fresh look at somebody else, and I love uh, that because camp, you got to be careful, Campbell said. You get into the same routine, the, the rut. The mundane and you don't really ever go you're just spinning your wheels uh so this would be good for us the giants went nine and seven to beat minnesota in the wild card game they return the quarter team and add a new starter at tight end and darren waller and cornerback dante banks banks and wide receiver paris campbell this offseason so you know they go into five matchups to watch i mean dexter lawrence is really good frank is really good frank ragnall um the run defense versus Saquon. I really probably wouldn't run Saquon in no joint practices and vice versa for the Lions and they backs. It makes no sense. Jameson Williams, if he practiced versus the Lions DBs, yeah, he got to get the, a lot of run in and they expected to run him a lot in preseason. So that's a no brainer because he ain't going to be playing for the first six games. You know, Brian Branch, rookie safety, you want to see a lot of him. Um, you know, Hunch versus Evan Neal. I think he might be a rookie or second, third year player. So uh, I think James Wynn is probably the more interesting matchup here. Um, first training camp, people forget that coming off ACL injury, probably still ain't 100%. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, this the, these practices are are usually a really good gauge of how where the Lions are in camp and how they're going to do for the season. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just it is what it is. A lot of times you hear how good the defense looking trying to camp or how good the offense special teams looking trying to camp, and then they just beating up on bums. Hate to say it, they just beating up on each other. So if a bum's playing bums, of course, somebody going to look like the better bum. You know what I'm saying? Somebody going to look like the better bum eventually. You know, you go out there against a, you know, a solid team and give a different look, then that's the moment of truth and the gauge where they at. And they got a, a huge, huge test coming in, you know, coming in week one versus – Kansas City Chiefs and their job is not to go out there and get embarrassed. You know, hate to say it, ain't like, you know, their job, even they should win, want to win, but I don't think that's a winnable game going into a ceremony ring night. Just being real, I don't, I think it's zero chance they win that game unless my homes go down or something like that. Uh, it's zero chance they win that game. So uh, I know people will have a lot of hope, a lot of optimism in the offseason. And the the best people gonna be uh the best people gonna gonna hope for is a moral victory where they lose in a competitive game or something like that. But uh you know, but that's the best you can hope for. You know, you know, but uh but yeah, these, these these joint practices are very important in my opinion. Just you know, my experience reading about it, um, you know, through the papers when I was younger, 
they usually a really good indication of of, of how the Lions going to do this this season. You know, and if they are doing well versus the Giants and they're they're competitive versus the Giants and you know, they're competitive versus uh you know, you know, get some of these other matchups, then they probably gonna they probably gonna have a good season. If they not, then it's just a regular indication of you know, per usual that it's SOL. So yeah, I'm mean, I'm very high on on these joint practices. I'm very high on these joint practices because they've 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 been pretty much accurate on at least how the beginning of the season is gonna go and how it's gonna go. But I wouldn't I wouldn't pay my running backs, not my starters. Maybe I get Jameer Gibbs on some on a couple routes and some couple blocking assignments, you know. But I wouldn't run Montgomery. I wouldn't run Barkley. I wouldn't run Gibbs. Some, you know, I give St. I give St. Brown a, a couple looks, but I, I really ain't. I really ain't trying to run, especially my backs, especially in preseason. It just don't make no sense. They're gonna take enough hits in the season between blocking and route running, and, and all that stuff. So I just, I just wouldn't do it. But Jameson got to get work. I know guys like St. Brown, I already know what he's going to bring to the table. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, I already know what he's going to bring to the table. So, um, so I ain't, I ain't even worried about him. So certain guys you ain't worried about, but Jameson Williams, Jared Goff, they need all the reps they can get out there. They need all the reps they can get. They need all the reps they can get. That new secondary, you know, they need all the reps they can get together to jail together, communicating, you know, who need to be where, you know, the front, the, the secondary, there's a lot of communication, you know. We rolling in safety, they need to know it. You know, if we passing somebody on, we need to know it. So they, they need the reps to jail together. They need those reps, but I'm very high on these joint practices. I'm very high on them. Very high. So, um, so I, I, I can't wait to see, you know, um, can't re- wait to see how all this materialize and see how I go down. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos like this. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. Hit the link tree, find me everywhere. Peace.